Nation of Fit and Tenet is day 16. And I added a class to the schedule. So there's a third time that we're adding on Mondays, Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. Uh, it's gonna be in the evening, it's at 6.15. So now we've got uh, Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays, we've got a, a 6 a.m., a 6.15 p.m., and a 7.30 uh, p.m., okay? So we're up to nine, we'll see how it goes this week, and then next week maybe we'll add another class in the morning. Okay, all right. People wanna know more about snacks, so let's do that. Let's talk about that. So. This is my all-time favorite bar, right here. This one right here, Isobar, Fitstar Isobar. Um, Fitstars, I should say. It's a local bar. It's made with all whole food ingredients. 60% of the ingredients are certified organic. Uh, it's high in fiber. It's, it's uh, high in protein. Uh, and it's got a good amount of carbs. All right, so you're getting... Well, let me just read you the macros. Now, they're a little bit different depending on the flavor you get, but they're they're all pretty similar. So this one here, um, this is a yogurt. This is like a peanut yogurt. This is actually my favorite flavor. Seven grams of fat, um, 34 grams of carbs, includes five grams of fiber, and 21 grams of protein. So, Really, really good bar. I can't find a bar that really matches this. The RX bars come close to it. It's just that they're much lower in protein. So uh, the protein is much higher in these, and these actually really taste good. Um, they're oven baked, so they're like they're just like a. I mean, they they almost to a certain extent feel like they're homemade. Um, really, really good. I I have more. I just got to pick them up because I missed the delivery. So. Um, they should be in in the next day or two, okay? Uh, three flavors, almond chocolate, um, double chocolate, and uh, yogurt peanut. Yogurt peanut's my favorite. The almond chocolate's got a little more protein, and the double chocolate is the same in terms of protein as this bar, 21 grams. Okay, really, really, really good bar. I cannot uh, comment positively enough on these. Okay, uh, questions. When to increase your, when to increase the amount of resistance based on reps? Okay, so for the sake of the classes, the online Zoom classes that Martine has you do, I would ask her if you can in the class, but generally speaking, you know, once you start to get up into that 15 rep range, unless you're doing class and you're just supposed to be doing super high reps, for the sake of the home workouts, once you get up to like that 15 rep mark, that's when I would start to add some resistance, okay? Now, when we get in the gym, we start doing some workouts, I'll be much more specific about this. And in fact, you know, it's really going to be, you know, um, when we start to be able to match the amount of reps that we wanna do per set, then I'm gonna increase, I'm gonna have you increase your, your um, the amount of resistance that you use, okay? So, um, in, in class, the in-class stuff that we do in the gym, that's gonna be like super specific, all right? Like we're gonna to try to nail those, uh, those, we're gonna to try to reach muscular failure at the prescribed rep. So if it's 10 reps, we're gonna to try to get to failure at 10 reps, okay? And we can do this because we can basically get pretty accurate with the amount of resistance. Obviously when you're at home, you can't really do that because you just, you don't have a whole gym with weights, right? So, but as a general rule, you know, once, you know, if you're, if you you know if you start with push-ups and you can do like eight and you get to ten and then, you know eventually you're getting up to that fifteen. Once you get to fifteen, especially when we're talking about building strength, start to add some resistance if you're able to do that. Okay. Uh, I should show you actually. I'll show you guys how to do this with a band. Okay, for push-ups. In a future video. All right. Uh, weight training philosophy. Okay. It was a long, somewhat of a long-winded question this was, but it was basically our weight training philosophy like when it comes to uh, the nutrition aspect, okay? Like I mentioned about, you know, keeping your calories um, pretty much as high as you can, but still losing a decent amount of weight per week. Um, you know, keeping a good amount of protein in there, uh, all whole foods, this type of thing. So how does that relate to, like what's, that's sort of the general philosophy of nutritional aspect of this challenge. 
how about the training aspect? Um, so uh, when it comes to training, obviously the original challenge had all basic movements in there, all basic weight training movements. So these are all like your, your big movements. When I say big movements, I mean movements that incorporate a lot of your muscles when you're working out. So uh, an example would be, and it's, it's not reserved just for big movements, but the majority of the movements are. So an example would be like a squat where we're bending, when you squat, you're bending at the waist, you're bending at the knees, and you're extending at the waist and the knees. So because we're doing these, what we call compound movements, these multi-jointed movements, we're using a lot of muscles at one time, okay? So we're strengthening these, what I consider to be foundational movements, and then over time, we're progressively going up in terms of resistance, the amount of resistance that we're using, okay? Because we're getting stronger. So the idea is to get stronger with each of the major resistance movements that we do in class. Okay, that's essentially, you know, it's cla it's classic progressive overload. Okay, and sometimes if you have to be patient, sometimes you hit plateaus, but that is just that's the general philosophy when it comes to the training. Okay, you're gonna do these movements here. Okay, whatever we do, uh, 10, 12 movements, and we're gonna try to get, we're gonna try to increase the amount of uh, progressive overload. That's not always resistance. Sometimes we'll push a little more reps. But uh, we're basically working with a, a rep range and then weight, okay? So set amount of movements, progressive overload. That's it. Work, work on that over time with some variation on how we do these movements, okay? All right, I'm nearing seven minutes. So let's get to the mess of the day. Mess of the day is this progression, not perfection. Progression, not perfection. Now, obviously, I'm going to always be like, okay, guys, like we got to be bang on with everything. But if you're not bang on with everything, and that's generally the way it goes with a challenge with people, especially when they start off, then we need to work on progression. So this is where we need to set some 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 specific goals with with how much we want to progress. Okay. So for example, you're supposed to have 150 grams of protein per day. Let's just say, and you're having 100 grams. <clears throat> let's say the following week, your goal should be to get 100. Let's say 10 grams. Some something something very specific. 110 grams of protein every single day, okay? So those would be the, the types of things that we're looking for when we talk about progression, so that constant progression. Then maybe the next week you can do 115 or 120, right? We want to be looking for this constant progression. So while we may not be getting perfection, we're working towards um, getting closer to the prescribed goals for, you know, whatever it is, training, um, amount of, uh, of training you're supposed to be doing, your diet, meeting the numbers and all that stuff, okay? All right, so don't worry if you're not being perfect, okay? Now don't use, that, don't use that as an excuse either, like do your absolute best, but if you're not quite there, let's let's set some smaller goals within these, obviously these bigger goals that, we've already have, that we already have set. Let's set some smaller goals and try to match those. It's the only way we can do it, okay? It's the only way is to, is to take these baby steps to get to that bigger step. Okay. All right. Submit, commit. I'm really looking forward to having these classes again, seeing you guys in class. And it's just like, it's really good because I love to connect with you guys personally. And, um, and of course I'm, I'm, I'm super, super excited with the weight training, Get, getting back into the weight training, right? Getting our hands on dumbbells and barbells essentially. Okay. And then teaching you guys how to do this stuff. So super excited with that. Positive energy, positive vibes. As always, believe in yourself and give some gratitude. I'll talk to you guys all very soon. Numbers are coming tomorrow, by the way. Numbers, uh, your macros will be coming to you by later afternoon tomorrow, okay? So stay tuned for that. I'll talk to you all very soon. See you guys.